Today we're talking about creatures that don't have to turn off their brains to go to sleep since they kind of don't actually have brains. You jelly? Hey guys, welcome back to The Stimulus. I'm Steph Evs, and here's what happened this week in STEM. Have you ever had one of those nights of insomnia where you just can't sleep and are internally screaming, shut up brain, and wound up thinking you'd get better sleep without it? Well, it turns out you may be right. It has long been thought that organisms require a central nervous system in order to be able to sleep, but these jellyfish are quite literally turning that theory on its head. Cassiopeia, more commonly known as the upside down jellyfish, are pretty chill sea creatures. They aren't known for doing much of anything other than floating here and there, but apparently this doesn't keep them from snoozing. During the night when these jellyfish are counting whatever the sea equivalent of sheep is, they exhibit a pulsing behavior and a delayed response to outside stimuli. Now their sleep isn't quite the same as ours for obvious reasons, since we have brains and they don't, but there are certain things scientists look for when identifying a sleep-like state. For this particular study, researchers from Caltech looked for three main components that constitute sleep behavior. Periods of inactivity, reduced response to stimuli during that inactive state, and dependence on sleep for health, which kind of just sounds like my average Saturday. In order to study the jellyfish, the scientists tracked the rate of their pulses during the day and then compared them to the pulse rate observed at night when they were inactive. Additionally, since jellyfish like to hang out upside down on hard surfaces, such as the ocean floor, researchers put them in a tank with a false bottom. When they removed the floor, the jellyfish would swim towards the new bottom of the tank. When they did this at night, it took the jellyfish a lot longer to figure out what the heck was going on before heading to the new tank bottom. The team also observed how the jellyfish responded if they were sleep deprived. They keep them awake by shooting them with a pulse of water for 10 seconds every couple of minutes, which is what I asked my college roommate to do every time I had to study for an exam the next day. What they found was that the jellies would then exhibit lower activity during the day, leading them to believe that, like us, jellyfish don't do well with all-nighters. So why is this a big deal? Lots of animals sleep. Yes, but unlike many animals, the upside-down jellyfish doesn't have a central nervous system. Now that's not to say that they have no nervous system at all. Rather than a complex central nervous system like the one we have, cnidarians have neurons that are organized into a non-symmetrical nerve net that shares some similarities with a vertebrate nervous system. The scientific community had kind of made the assumption that sleep was a complicated function that required a complex, higher-functioning nervous system, but this challenges that. As a result, this also indicates that sleep behavior may have evolved in creatures sooner than originally thought, before any animals started swimming around with central nervous systems. It also means that sleep may have had a different original purpose than helping with learning or retention. Instead, it could indicate that sleep could have evolved to conserve energy for neurons. An important thing to keep in mind is that the classification of this behavior as sleep isn't universally accepted. Jenny Purcell, a jellyfish researcher at Western Washington University, thinks that the jellyfish may have behaved differently if they had been observed in their natural environment rather than in a tank in a lab, and thinks that calling the behavior sleep could be a bit of a stretch. Jellyfish researcher Anders Garm from the University University of Copenhagen stated, they define it from some motor behavior, which is fine, as long as you're really open as to what your definitions are. Many people would not agree it's enough to talk about real sleep. The authors of this study aren't upset about this though. After all, isn't challenging theories as what we know changes really what science is all about? So that brings us to our question of the day. The upside down jellyfish likes to sleep upside down on the ocean floor. What is your favorite place to sleep? Let me know in the comment section down below. As always, if you'd like to check out this story a little bit more in depth, I will include links to my sources down below along with links to all of my social media and my new Patreon. So feel free to check those out in your free time. If you like this kind of STEM content and want to see more like it, give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of the sciencey videos I'll be putting out in the future. As always, if you see any really cool STEM related news stories throughout the week, please feel free to send them to me on Twitter at, at the stimulus using the hashtag twist them and they just might make it into a video. But with that, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your week. Stay well, stay awesome, and I will see you next time.